Welcome a Fucus. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with using the Soul Truth, the Seven Energies and Energy Oracle cards. Okay, let's get straight into it. Three cards for a Fucus, please. With the Soul Truth, a Fucus. One, two, three. Just like that. Okay, so this one here. Am I focused on what I am losing or gaining? Next one is, what is the most limiting belief keeping me from what I want right now? And the next one is, does my life have room for more pleasure and play? Okay, a few kids. So let's start with the first one. Am I focused on what I am losing or gaining? Are you going through some change? Are you scared to let go because of what you might lose? What if you shifted your focus from what you might lose to what you might gain? Endings are actually new beginnings. The action to take is today make a list of all the things you will gain from the change you are going through. Feel your heart, take a breath and deepen into trust. Amazing things are coming. Okay, Fucus, let's look further into this. Tell me more about this change for a Fucus, please. Okay, we've got two cards. Healer of the Ages and Blossoming Abundance. Okay, so I love this because I feel like with this here, you are being protected, you are being healed, you are being guided. Okay, I feel like this is a divine um, intervention, I feel like. Um yeah, I feel like your heart is actually being healed as well here. Tell me more about the healer of the ages for a few kiss, please. Yeah. In perfect harmony. Look at this. This is this a few kiss, I feel like is about you writing your own music. Um for some of you, this is not, uh, maybe a lot of you, is not going to be about writing music necessarily. And I mean that metaphorically, right? About you writing your own song. You know, it's like writing a book, writing a chapter. What do you want that to look like? You know, and when, when you write a song, what do you want the lyrics to be? You know, what do you want the, the harmony to be, the tune? What notes do you want it? Do you want it to be uplifting and joyous? How do you want that to be you know um so really considering this for yourself there's definitely a really um quite a significant spiritual transformation happening here for you i feel the uncharted sea mm. you see here's the thing right with the going through these changes it's uncharted territory and it can feel very scary but it depends on how we look at it because this boat is on the ocean. It's already traveling this journey. Okay, so it's like this change is already happening. Okay, the catalyst of the change has happened. Now it's going, sort of going with the tide to see where it carries you. Sometimes it's a matter of surrendering and letting things be. Just letting it take you to where it need you you meant to go, right? Blossoming abundance because this is what awaits you when you get to land. This is what you're going to land on, okay? Um, and I absolutely love this because it's kind of like <sighs> there's a possibility to explore here. Tell me more about blossoming abundance. And sometimes we're in the when we're in the middle of that change, it can feel like, oh gosh, this is so uncomfortable and I don't like it and I don't want it because I'm so used to what I had and that was my comfort zone. But then we don't grow, right? We don't actually end up growing. The royal you, wow. The royal you. This is what you're stepping into. Great and full. Grateful, right? Grateful for you. This is you stepping in and owning your crown here, a Fucus. Right? Taking your seat on your throne and owning it. Filling up your cup. 
with things that you are grateful for that will allow you to be great and full, that will fill up your life with greatness. Yes? Okay. What is the most limiting belief keeping me from what I want right now? Okay, what story are you telling yourself? When you think about your dreams, what is the first limiting thought that comes to your mind? If you are not living the life you desire, it is because a part of you doesn't believe it is possible. So the action you need to take here, Fucus, is it's time to upgrade. Look, look for belief in the eye. Where did it come from? What new belief are you ready to adopt in its place? How will this change your results? Remember, your belief is the root of your result. Own it. Heal it. Upgrade it. I love that. I love that. Awesome. Okay. So, so, so. Okay. Tell me more about this one for a few kids, please. That's awesome. I especially love the line. Your belief is the root of your result. So true, right? So true. When we plant this garden, this blossoming abundance, whatever we believe is what will grow. Tell me more about this for a pucus, please. Mm, victory. Victory. Broken heart. You've got this victory over this broken heart. Right? You will be victorious. If you believe you always have a broken heart, it will never heal. It will never heal. If you believe that you will be have victory in what it is you're trying to believe, you will. Okay, it is up to you. Okay, so we have ears wide open. Listen to what you're saying to yourself, right? Be very aware. Very aware. Okay, don't tell yourself porgies right see where it is that you want to go okay look at this beautiful rose here the rose has thorns right the roses kiss the roses kiss can sting that that butterfly has gone through the most massive transformation where it has turned to utter mush and come out again a beautiful butterfly right and this is the possibility for you if you haven't already okay so let's have a look at Broken Heart here. Nice. Okay, excellent. Okay, we have, where's this other one? Here. Let it go. Let it go. It's time to let it go. I'm not saying that to minimise what it is that you've been through, but it's not serving you anymore by holding on to it. It's keeping, the thing is that, I, and I know I've done this in my own life, by continuously going over things in your mind, you break your own heart. Right? And it's time to let that go. Waking the lion. Okay? This lion is strong. And so are you. You have the strength to get through this, yeah? Standing in that power. Remember who you are? The royal you, right? The lion doesn't stand there and break his own heart. He gets up and he stands in his power and he moves forward. He walks like he means it. So that's what you need to do, Ephucus. Walk like you mean it. Move forward. With conviction yeah does my life have room for more pleasure and play in what area are you lacking pleasure right now maybe in certain relationships or with work is it possible to shift the seriousness of life to experiencing a more creative wild and playful side of you Okay, the action you need to take here. What would happen if you added more play and laughter into your life? What area is lacking this right now? 
take time to play, let go of any need to produce anything. Okay, so... Tell me more about this for a few kids, please. Tell me more about this for a few kids. One more card. Thank you. Deceit. Deceit. Sometimes I feel like we can deceive ourselves. There's something about this though. Why has this popped up? I just want to reread this. In what area are you lacking pleasure right now? Maybe in certain relationships or with work. Is it possible to shift the seriousness of life to experiencing a more creative, wild and playful side of you? I just wonder if there's some of you that are not very trusting anymore. Tell me more about deceit for a few kids, please. Mm, yeah, see, I think it's this energy. I think it's meant to he healing the heart. Yeah, some of you are being deceived and it's healing the heart from that and letting it go in order for you to open up again. Um, sacred reverence, yeah. Because there's something there for you, if you kiss, that... Um, something there for you in the sense of being able to um, fully heal. Fully heal from the lack of trust. Yeah. Um, I also feel like deceit and the magician and the mirror need to come together here because these are two opposite energies, okay? And um, the sacred reverence here is what I feel like um, heals the two energies and this is the healing of this heart okay um, and this is the key to doing this to bridging the gap between these two okay because the magician and the mirror this is about looking in the mirror and seeing how it is that you're deceiving yourself and 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 stopping yourself from being able to let pleasure into your life because there's this belief within you, right? Remember this here? Remember your belief is the root of your result. So if you believe that deceit is within everybody and they will deceive you, they will. You will absolutely bring that into your experience. You will have that experience over and over and over again. Believe me, if you just, I know. Okay, because I've done it too. Right, and when you change that, your experience changes. Okay, so Magician and the Mirror tell me more about this. I can't believe how quickly this reading has gone. Um, okay, so we have Quieting the Mind and Call of the Muse. Okay, because I feel like there's this... Um, block in a sense of actually connecting and it's kind of like the mind won't quieten and there's this sort of reluctance to let go to allow it to quieten because this um this repeated belief is subconsciously understood to be protection but it's actually hindrance so yeah um the call of the muse
is this ability to let go in order for you to unlock yourself to be who you really are, right? To be the royal you. To let that out and stand and walk and dance and move without apology. Mm, that's what that is about. Okay. So, yeah, that has gone super fast. I can't believe how quick that has gone. But anyway, I'm going to leave that with you if you kiss. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.